yes hello sachin welcome on urpedia platform and uh, let's start your uh, heat transfer snap for your final drdo interview thank you sir for giving me this opportunity okay so sachin uh, what is heat transfer sir a heat transfer is basically a method of transfer 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 of energy which uh, take place because of the temperature differences so it is a method of energy transfer acha for example let's take a case of what like suppose some water is flowing in a pipe okay yes sir. through a particular cross section and uh, you know in that particular cross section we have provided some kind of heating coil okay yes sir so then what we are doing we are heating the water yes sir utilizing the electricity by passing the current through that coil okay we are heating yes, the water so suppose in that case the coil is of suppose for example maybe 0.5 kilowatt yes sir okay and uh, we are interested in finding out the h value h value convection heat transfer convection heat transfer coefficient just give me some idea how you are going to obtain the convection heat transfer coefficient what process you are going to follow sir we can basically use the simple definition of convection heat transfer like uh, the convection first of all the heat is get uh, conducted through the stagnatal layer uh, that that is the boundary layer and that then after it is convected that is advection process is taking place so basically what we have done uh, we are using uh, minus ka that is uh, the thermal conductivity of the fluid uh, into dt by dx at x equal to 0 mm -hmm. is equal to ha into uh, temperature difference of the wall and the uh, corresponding fluid so by using this we can calculate the convective heat transfer coefficient so from where you will get minus k a dt by dx sir uh, the surface of the uh, solid that we uh, for example uh, we are using a pipe then the fluid layer that is uh, stagnated to the um, uh, no fine fine that's fine sachin you are using yes, some no slip boundary condition fine yes, sir, you not point. mentioned about that okay you yes, don't mention about that but i got the idea you are you have used you are using that condition but i am just asking you from where you will get dt by dx at y equal to 0 sir if i know the temperature profile then i can uh, easily get it from where you will get the temperature i have given you the case some kind of practical case i have given you sachin yes there sir. is some pipe water is flowing through that some coil we have mounted the coil is of 1 kilowatt whatever whatever experiment you want to conduct, uh, you know conduct you can conduct so just imagine some kind of arrangement in front of you and now tell me how you will evaluate the h value if you are able to conduct some experiment to measure that dt by dx it's fine but you know to tell me sir this is how i am going to obtain that sir you have given the value of uh, uh, power of the coil Ah yes 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 that is of I think point five kilowatt I mentioned. Sir, should I consider it a, a constant wall temperature condition, constant heat flux conditions? Uh, yeah, either I will take any assumption. So how you will check? Sir, uh, if uh, sir for constant heat flux condition, uh, sir, uh, for example, solar panel that are we are that are the example of the cost constant heat flux condition. and if it is constant wall temperature condition for example uh, uh, the that's phase required. that is required to find out h value sir that is not required but the main thing is required is uh, the which type of case is it uh, for example constant wall temperature condition or constant heat flux conditions because if i know that then i can use the nusselt number and from nusselt number i can easily find out the h value so you are presuming the case is of laminar flow Yes, sir. If it is a case of laminar flow, but, but sir, if it is a case of laminar flow, again you have not mentioned. Again you have not mentioned. You see, you are presuming it. It will be a laminar. Yes, sir. If it is a case of laminar, then I can use the direct relation. Okay, the if it is not laminar, then. Sir, then I have to use a sir correlation of the natural number like a point zero two three zero four uh, pointed until power raise to n, where n is equal to point four or point three uh, heating or cooling section. For example, here we are heating. So I can use point four to calculate the h value. How you will evaluate such in the flow is laminar or turbulent? Sir, by checking the Reynolds number, sir. 
So how much is the critical Reynolds number for flow inside pipe? Sir, two thousand. If it is uh, no. less than two thousand, then uh, it is lamina. If it is uh, above two thousand, then it is uh, considered as turbulent. Mm -hmm. But sir, it varies for the flat uh, plate. So what are the different methods available to us to obtain H value? Sir, the first one is the uh, stagnation condition that I have mentioned above uh, earlier. And the second one is that we can use uh, some correlations for the flat plate. We have uh, remember some correlations and uh, for uh, flow through pipe also we have some uh, relations like the certain number is constant uh, if the flow is laminar or if flow is turbulent then we use uh, its correlation of the nasal number with the nodes and the plantar number and uh, if uh, flow is uh, for example free convection type flow then we use a grass of number sir, to calculate the nasal number hmm. so only two method i know sir okay So Sachin, uh, you know, for applying that equation, is there any other kind of assumptions required, like the developed flow, developing flow, or any other case? Sir, flow should be developed flow, sir. All the how, how, you will check, how you will check the flow is developed or not? Sir, if the, uh, sir, for example, it is a case of heat transfer. So if the, the temperature profile is fully developed here, then it will so check. I just give you some idea how you will check. Sir, the temperature profile will not vary with respect to the direction of the flow. So how you will check that temperature profile? It is varying or not? Uh, sir, we can calculate the um, entra, uh, entry length uh, by some formula. Uh, for example, 0.05 D into Reynolds number into Quantile number. And after that, we can assume that it is a developed flow. But sir, any practical method, I don't know how to measure it. Don't you feel simply attaching some, you know, kind of uh, thermocouples at some particular fixed point, you know, yes, sir. at the center of the pipe, but at different length, you can check is that temperature is varying or maybe velocity is varying. Yes, sir. By using thermocouples, we can measure the temperature, sir. You can measure how it is varying. The temperature profile is varying or not. Temperature yes, profile means temperature is not varying at a particular, you know, along the length of the fluid flow. It means it is, it will be a kind of what? Uh, developed flow. Nay? Yes, sir. We can assume, uh, but uh, sir, it will give, sir, it will maybe, sir, it may correct or not. I don't know that. Actually, you mentioned about entrance length, Sachin. So entrance length will be more in which case? Laminar or turbulent? And why? Sir, it is more in case of lam laminar, sir. Because uh, in turbulent flow, intermixing is there. So because of intermixing, sir, uh, the diffusion, momentum diffusion or thermal diffusion will take place at a higher rate. And in laminar flow, it is, sir, a flow layer by layer. So it will take some time, sir. Mm. Okay. Hmm. So if you want, we can calculate that. Fine, fine. What is the mechanism of radiation heat transfer? Sir, uh, according to uh, previous theory, all bodies at uh, all temperature emit radiations, except the body at zero Kelvin. Uh, so all body, either they are liquid, solid, or gases, they emit radiation. But uh, the radiation phenomenon is is a dominating only at higher temperatures, sir. So, basically, sir, this is the base behind that radiation phenomenon. And, uh, sir, it is a mode of heat transfer uh, which do not require any medium, sir, to travel. What is Kirchhoff's law? What is Kirchhoff's law of thermal radiation? Sir, Kirchhoff's law. Mm -hmm. Sir, according to Kirchhoff's law, if a body is in thermal equilibrium with surrounding, then it's a uh, uh, absorptivity is equal to its emissivity. Can you prove that? Yes, sir. I can prove, sir. Mm, yes, go ahead. 
sir for example if you have we have a body and uh, q amount of heat is uh, incidenting on it and uh, for example rho is its alpha is its absorptivity then Sir, we can prove like this, sir. Sir, for example, this is our body, and mm -hmm. Q amount of heat, Q amount of radiation is in, uh, falling on it. Then the amount that it will absorb is like area of this body into Q into its absorptivity. That is equal to its uh, total emissivity. And sir, is its emissivity is given in like this E into area. And uh, from here we can uh, from sir. Uh, the total hemispherical MSC power can be written like this MSC between to the emissivity of the black body. Mm -hmm. And so this is equation number one. And we can uh, make this equation like uh, taking a junction of the black body that for black body alpha and uh, emissivity is equal to one. So sir, this is equation number two on dividing equation number one by two, we can get sir, alpha is equal to emissivity. Mm -hmm. Fine. So this is my last question to you. What is critical radius? Critical radius of insulation. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sir. Critical radius of insulation is basically a radius, uh, but its significance is like uh, it is the radius up to which uh, when we uh, make our insulation, then the heat uh, rejection will maximum because the total resistance that participating will be minimum here. And after that, uh, the resistance will increases and uh, the, the amount of heat that is rejected will decreases. It is happening because uh, the here total resistance is the combination of uh, conduction resistance of the insulation and the convecting resistance. So overall effect of these two will first decreases. That's why the heat uh, transfer rate increases. And after that, the overall effect will increases. Uh, so the heat transfer rate will decreases. Mm, I think okay, now sir. I can provide the feedback. Yes, sir. So, so this is my first entry, sir. Ah, uh, okay. You are most of, in most of the you know during most of the inter, uh, time of the interview you uh, you correctly answered uh, you know your confidence was also good but you know some more things you can uh, try like I asked you uh, like water is flowing in a pipe how you will uh, calculate the H value so why so you know, photo of uh, steady flow you know whatever heat is entering that will be equal to the heat picked by the water in steady flow energy yes, in equal to the energy out. Yes, sir. We can do that like, by assuming a sir, control volume. We can sir, do it. But sir, just say you have said that, then the mind is sir, blow up. Yeah, yeah. What can we do? So, point five kilowatt. You can equate it with the H A delta T. Yes, sir. We can uh, use it like. So from that easily you will get H value. Hmm? So further you need to highlight the steady flow. Sachin, for whenever you are appearing for you know such kind of organization, DRDO, ISRO, or any other kind of research organization, you need to highlight all those uh, suitable assumptions. Yes, so sir. don't reach to the final conclusion. Okay. Highlight so, because they are more interested in your approach, how you are trying actually, how you are answering that particular question, other than the final answer. Okay, sir. I will take care of it, sir. Mm. So you you want to ask anything? Sajin? Sir, uh, um, I am preparing sir uh, three subjects from sir, thermal, uh, like uh, heat transfer and uh, RAC and uh, thermodynamics, including fluid mechanics and so on. But uh, I am thinking to, for IC engine and uh, engineering mechanics, sir. So, uh, should I prepare for uh, these two subjects or not? Yes, you can prepare. I think four, four, four to five subjects is good to prepare. Okay. 
the combination which you are mentioning fluid mechanics ic engine thermodynamics heat transfer and strength of material i think this combination is good sachin you can go with that rsc yes, also you mentioned sir rsc i am including because sir my project is based on sir vapor absorption refrigeration system ah, so, so yes, that's why sir, you can prepare so you can skip mechanics but if you if you feel you are very good in that mechanics part mechanics and strength of material then you can add that and you can skip any other thermal subject sir i am uh, adding mechanics because sir mechanics is a strength so that is mechanics and sir fm that is also mechanics sir. that's why i am you are uh, comfortable in that yes sir but sir this is the sixth subject of mine because the first five subject are uh, sir heat transfer rsc thermo and som and fm ठीक है ठीक है आप रख सकते हो यू कैन कीप दैट कॉम्बिनेशन स्टिल नो सच इशू यस सर सर व्हाट इज सर कैन यू गिव मी फीडबैक अबाउट नॉलेज ऑफ हीट ट्रांसफर सर बिकॉज़ आई एम लिटिल बिट नर्वस अबाउट इट यू नो ट्राइड एक्चुअली यू नो सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन यू आंसर्ड ओके बट यू नो आई मेंशनड अर्लियर आल्सो व्हेन यू आर अपीयरिंग फॉर सच ऑर्गेनाइजेशन यू नो टू ट्राई यू नो टू फॉलो अ स्टेप बाय स्टेप अप्रोच सो दे आर मोर इंटरेस्टेड लाइक सपोज द केस आई हैव गिवन यू व्हाट यू नो टू से sir actually for that finding h value uh, there are different methods available to us we can measure it experimentally we can measure it analytically okay we can use some kind of correlations available in the literature sir for the flow inside pipe first we need to evaluate first we need to check whether the flow is laminar or turbulent so by checking the reynolds number we we, we, we can check and then sir we can go with some suitable assumptions like the case, the given case will be a kind of constant heat flux you know when we are, when you are mounting some coil over the pipe so that will be a typical case of constant heat flux you know such a yes sir sir i remember that you put at the okay okay i got it where i got so some some pipe is there and you mounted some uh, coil heating coil over that so that is a case of constant heat flux only constant heat flux sir. yes sir. and then uh, you can go with the suitable assumptions ki sir if the renold number is coming out less than that then you will have direct relationship between nusselt number and uh, uh, you know uh, some constant nusselt number will be constant for that yes sir then further yes. interviewer can ask you how the h value is going to vary inside the pipe Can you give me some kind of variation of h value from the leading edge to the further in the flow direction? How the h value is going to change? How the temperature profile is going to change? Okay, what is bulk yes. mean temperature? At what temperature you are going to evaluate the properties? Okay, so those kind of things. Are you getting such a? Okay, sir. So, both comfortable. Okay, very comfortably. You need to sit in in the interview. You need to listen to the interview interviewer what he is asking you. and then you need to link actually you need to follow a kind of step by step approach okay sir presume nahi karna hai kuch bhi if you are presuming then it is good to highlight ki sir can i assume that can i go with these assumptions something like that you know if you are yes, trying like that then even uh, they can stop you and they can ask you some different question because they will get the idea ki yes in the right way right direction you are moving are you getting such a okay sir चलो ठीक है सचिन बाकी आपका अंडरस्टैंडिंग अच्छा है कीप कीप ट्राइंग प्रिपेयरिंग ओके गुड लक थैंक यू सर ओके सचिन